Hi, it's me again with Corelled All Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph of their, his niece, and he did a great job of tracing. I mean, it's perfect. There's a few spots that you could clean up, and they're like, he's going to cut this out. And you can't have that when you cut out, and you can't have broken lines. So what I'm going to do is this picture is over 12 inches. I want to make my nudge factor 13. And I'm gonna nudge this out of the way. Now, if we draw a rectangle around this car and fill it up with a color, it's gonna leak. That's because he's got these broken nodes and other various items. Now, he's gonna cut it out anyway. So I would, instead of a two point line, I would make it a hairline. It almost seems more obvious when things like that, and see there's a leak. So we could take our node. Well, he's got it all grouped together. Let's, whenever you can't grab some of the shape tool, it's because it's grouped, so go to group and ungroup. Let's zoom back in here, and let's take that node and try to stay on that same line, and then take your virtual segment delete key. Now, on the other part that are just close, what I'm gonna do is I've got it selected. I'm gonna select it with the shape tool and then select all the nodes. And I'm gonna go up to Windows, Dockers, Join, Curves. I've only got mine set on point one. And now all the, join, all the nodes are a curve and nothing leaks. So he's gonna, I think he's gonna print this out and then cut it out. Well, you're actually going to engrave it. I'm going to try to help him with that. We can take away the outline. But if we look now, and because we've nudged, now I can left click, right click. Now it's going to be harder to see, but we're going to turn it into a hairline. Hairline is going to show you things you can't see. Like if we go back to a two point line, you can't tell where the body is on that car. Now it's easier to see, but then you can take your shape tool and move nodes around. I mean, you could see this before, but see how you can see the little bit of the little bit of the car there. Other than that, um, he did a, a great job of tracing it. You know, it's a little bit off, but that's things you can see with a hairline that you can't see with a normal, you know, two inch line, two point line. And I might have inadvertently messed this up right here, but. Um, and you know, in some of this, uh, you know, as long you could go into it more than you could go out. Cause once you cut it out, um, who's going to know what was there? Now you do want all of it. And I would actually maybe even add a node right there and then kind of bring that out. And then you're going to bring this back and just play around with it. You know, now it, I might have messed that up on the top. You, if you're going to print it, I definitely wouldn't want any fuzziness behind it. You know, I'd want to come in more than out. But other than that, he did a great job. I would just, especially if you're going to cut it out, you're going to need a good hairline anyway, and you don't want where we had that extra line that would actually cut into it. So you want that all sealed up. And I've actually helped him Photo grave. Let me see if I can't find that. I'm going to go to import. Um, and I ran it through photo grave. Photo grave is a great product. I've got plenty of videos on it. There is the engraved car by dots. So the dots are real close. Going to be black. The dots are not close. It's going to be the color of the wood. And the reason I actually brought this car up, what I would do if I was going to test this, you know, it's, it's pretty big. That's good. I mean, if this is the size, no, that can't be the size. It's because it's grouped together. The size of that car is 11 inches. It'd be a lot of engraving. What I would do is take, make a duplicate of that car make a duplicate of that car and actually cut out. I send him this file. 
I would take a, you know, maybe this part of it, and I would actually uh, cut that out, or you could actually intersect it. Go up to intersect, and it should take that part out, and you can test that and see, like, on a two inch by two inch square, and see if that looks good in, in, to you and your engraving. See, it's actually going to have the shine of the helmet because this is going to be wood, and then the 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 dots that are solid are going to be black, and then this is going to be progressively, you know, either do that, especially since it's for your family member, uh, but you know, maybe even on the logo. The logo should engrave, you know, you'll really be impressed. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.